Hi everyone, it's Laura and I hope you're all doing well. So today I wanted to talk about um, my fitness essentials and I think one of the downsides of feeling like we have to have certain things to exercise is that it kind of allows us to justify it not exercising until we get those things. Um, honestly, my fitness essentials are motivation and water, and really that's it. You really don't need anything else to exercise. You don't need um, a fancy yoga mat or fancy workout pants or the latest iPod or whatever it may be, the coolest headphones, and while those things are fun to get, um, they're not necessary. And I think we think if we get these things, then they'll motivate us and we'll somehow get all this motivation and become the person in the advertisements. And that's just not the case. You know, when we get a new workout top, it may motivate us once or twice, but then after that, the excitement has died and we, um, we lose the motivation. And I think one of the downsides of the fitness industry is or I guess advertisements, not really the fitness industry, but just us feeling like we need these certain name brand things or these certain things um, causes us to feel like if we don't have them, we can't work out, which isn't the case. Um, and instead of finding our workout or fitness motivation in those things, we instead should be finding the motivation within ourselves. And instead of thinking, oh, um, once I get this thing, then I'll start working out, or once I get this gym membership, I'll start working out, or once I get, um, uh, once that yoga studio opens up, then I'll start working out. Um, instead, starting today, because again, all we really need is water to work out and the motivation to do so. And if you have those things, then um, you can go for a walk or do yoga. You don't even need a yoga mat to do yoga. Um, you don't even need weights to build muscle. You can use your own body mass or even better yet, just use things around your home. Um, and as a result, we end up accruing all this stuff and then we still don't work out. Um, so you end up spending money accruing items to work out, but then those things just end up sitting in a drawer. Um, and so I really challenge y'all to not look for outward things to motivate you to exercise, but instead looking at exercise as not a chore or a punishment because we ate something we shouldn't have or we've um, been eating worse than we normally would or something like that but instead viewing fitness as a blessing and as something to be thankful for because it is you know the ability to move and exercise is something that all of us should have gratitude for um, that's something a huge area of thankfulness for me and so one trying to not find our motivation within items or things or feeling like we need those oops drop the phone <laughs> or feeling like we need those things in order to exercise but instead um, being thankful that we're able to exercise and start exercising today because it's what makes us feel good and it's what gives us energy and um, gets those endorphins pumping and the such so I hope this video helped you out. Don't feel like you need certain things in order to start exercising. Don't feel like you need certain items, a certain gym membership, because you don't. All you need is the motivation to do so. And that motivation should be found because you love yourself, because you want to your body to be healthy and your body to be strong, not because you feel guilty and you're punishing yourself, because that's not how exercise should be. And if that's how you're feeling, I challenge you to try new forms of physical activity. Because maybe it's you're not doing the physical activity that brings joy to your life. Maybe you're running when you hate running. Or maybe you're, I don't know, taking certain classes that you don't like. And trying to think of um, 
out of the box ways to exercise like going to the beach for a walk I went on a long walk for the beach on the beach last weekend and I didn't I wasn't close to the water because like Mona hates the waves <laughs> she loves the sand but she hates the waves so we walk a little bit further out where the sand isn't as hard and it's harder to walk and I was sore for several days afterwards just from walking along the beach um, and I think walking too is something that people not only take for granted but also don't fully grasp the value in it and how healthy it is for your joints for your mind and for your overall health so something as simple as going for a walk is super healthy um, so whether it's walking hiking biking um, swimming yoga um, whatever it may be finding finding physical activities that you enjoy doing and seeing them as um, something that's fun, something that's nourishing your body instead of a chore. So I hope this helped you out. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them below. Get a bottle of water and go out and do some type of physical activity today because your body will thank you. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them below. Also check me out on Instagram. That's my favorite form of social media. <laughs> And I post on there regularly um, and I'll leave the link below to my book. It gives you more details on how to incorporate a plant-based lifestyle into your life. So I'll be seeing you on my next video. Thanks for watching. Bye.